back with another update on the uh, the remote control programs that I've got in Computercraft. And basically what I've been doing is making a bunch of cool new features as well as a, uh, a, a new uh, program for Red Zone to, uh, for the um, control program to interact with, um, uh, which I'll show you right now actually. Um, so I've basically just been running it on here and then if I go into here and then this is LS, or say um, two, and then I have all of my programs enabled, which will be very, uh, which will basically just be important for later on. Um, so when I show you what the other computer has. So let's just connect to that one and uh, let's just type in two. And then we can just do health and it will say everything that it has to so download Redstone, um, which I'll show you, um, then buy a list and then offload. So if I just do offload, download, um, they are all working as a, uh, as intended really. And then file list, it will only have um, M control. And then Redstone, it will say invalid side, available size are up, down, back, front, left, and right. So basically, what it will let you do is control the outputs. So let's just uh, say redstone back on, and it will turn the, uh, the back redstone on. <laughs> so it's really, really quite simple, but it's really sweet as well. So let's just do redstone back off. And actually do it, there we go. <laughs> and then redstone left on, and it will turn the left side on, and then if I do do redstone left off, it will basically just turn it off again. So that is a cool little feature that I thought was uh, really quite handy, um, because if you have any, um, say if you've got a mob spawner on the other side, and you want to basically just interact with it um, through a uh, remote control system, then you can basically just say, uh, I want to turn the mob spawner on by uh, just activating the red zone uh, on the side of it. And if you want to turn it off, then I mean, it's basically just as simple as turning it off. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to set a uh, game rule to daylight cycle false and then times for six hours. So that's all cool, and the red zone program is really quite cool. But say if you don't want, uh, say, like your r remote to be able to access the files on the other side of the computer or on the control side, um, you can basically do that by basically just editing the status uh, table. <laughs> so basically, if you don't want the, uh, um, I'll just like read out the help text first. So easily configure which programs you want running by simply setting ones or one for those you want running. So say if you don't want the, uh, the download function or the download program not to be running, we'll set that to a zero and then we'll save that and then exit and then let's just run it again and we'll get out of the, the two and then ls and it's got the one and I didn't change the, uh, the default M control program, the function. <laughs> um, so let's just uh, connect to the one. And now when we do health, it won't actually show download. <laughs> so that is really cool. And even if we try to do it, it will say invalid command type health for options. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Now I did get a bit of help from my friend Semps11, um, he has a YouTube, but I'm not sure if he does it anymore. Uh, I'm not sure if he uses it anymore, but I'll leave it in the description if you do want to check him out. But basically, uh, we've uh, we've basically programmed it to make it configurable. So that is really quite cool. Um, now let's just take a look at the code behind it. Um, if you don't, then I hope you guys did enjoy, but I mean, this is basically the, uh, the end of it. So basically what we have is, 
um, let's just go into right about here. So right here, we've got a uh, if it's got connect, and it will basically just send the uh, a table through, and that's including the status table or the status table, yeah, um, which is basically where you've con configured the uh, the programs. But if I go to here and then exit, exit, and then edit and remove. And we go down as well here. Um, so exit protocol list and connect. Here we go. So basically, what we've got here is we've got a uh, if it's a table, um, which is basically just going to support the latest version of the M control, um, then it will basically do this. Um, and it will basically just do the status as well um, of the these programs as well, because on this side I've got the M control. Oh no, I've got the offload and download features because that's really the only way I thought um, would work is if I pre-program the programs into here. Um, so if I just go down a bit, um, it will actually yeah. So right about uh, above here. We've got the first offload function, so right here. There we go. So it's ba this is basically the, the offload one, and then the download one is further down. But we've basically also got it depending on the status of the download and the offload, and if it equals one as well. So that's basically how I turn it off for the remote, and. I've also turned it off for the control. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys, actually, I've got a little bit more to uh, explain for the help as well. Um, so if you do want to add a program, then it's as simple as you can basically just add another table or another um, value to this table. And you can basically just do uh, test program uh, that this will basically be the name of your program and then set that to a variable uh, I mean a string <laughs> um, with your help in it so test program is test so that's basically how you add your help um, then in the status if you do want to make it configurable to be on and off then you can basically just do um, test program and this again would be your uh, your na the name of your program um, so test program equals one and then just add, basically add it like that um, and then if you do want to actually add the uh, um, that code for it <laughs> then I've explained how to actually do it in the previous version or in the previous um, videos so if you do want to actually see how to make a program on here then be sure to check that out in the description below um, which is where I'll uh, basically just put it but yeah so I hope you guys did enjoy um, this uh, tutorial on the new version of my remote control program now if you don't have uh, the, the uh, up most updated version of your M control program then don't worry, um, it, it won't cause a crash on the uh, remote side because um, it would expect a, a table to be coming through, but in the previous versions, I had a, a just a string coming through. So, but basically, just I've got it printing out. Um, I've basically just made it compatible for the previous versions as well. So don't worry, um, I've made it happy. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and peace.